Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Friday morning, <clears throat> January 7th. We are looking at Window Traders Market Profile, SPY, IWMN, Triple Qs. With 75 minutes to go prior to the open, we're all trading basically in balance, in value. Very wide point of controls again, even though I have these in uh, wide increments. As you can see, a lot of volume being packed in right where we did it all day yesterday. For all three of these indices, what's going on right now, pretty meaningless considering we do have uh, non-farm payroll out at 8.30 which will set these algos into a tizzy. The overnight high right now in SPY 469.69, the overnight low 467.23. If by some chance we open inside of today's range, expect a tremendous amount of chop again, right? In all three of these things. Um, there's nothing really to lean on once you get those wide point of controls. All you had was the high and the low in all three of these indices yesterday. They spent most of their time in the lower distribution from the previous days. Now, Russell did take back one set and got into another set, but they still have three sets remaining from the fifth. Triple Qs have two sets, so do we. The main goal for the buyers is obviously to take out yesterday's high. If you do that, you come back into balance on the daily. If you take out yesterday's low, the daily will still be continuing down for all of these indices. SPY and ES are caught between the 20 and the 50. So after these, this number comes out at 830, I think it could give a pretty good indication of what we want to do. If we sell off and get below the 50 and we're, and we're below the 20 again and make a new low, well, again, we're going to start attacking all those single prints and trend days from December 22nd and the 21st. Um, and then what comes into danger there is, like we said, the more you come in, the more the acceptance comes into that other weekly range and you start targeting the high 440s to low 450s, which puts a monthly low into danger. It's kind of meaningless to give a game plan right here. Like I said, this tremendous chop. If after the number comes out, we still open inside of here. Well, the one play I would take is if we were to push up one time a short against L's high, any acceptance above that, you should go and finally take out yesterday's high and come into balance. On the flip side, I don't know if I would want to take a long. I, I guess you could take it against B's low, but it's not a lot to lean on. We're already down in the daily. Any gap higher, remember you will be coming into clashing into the trend day. So we'll see how much they would want to take back if we end up gapping higher or taking out yesterday's high. On the flip side, any gap lower or we take out yesterday's low, you start clashing with all the single prints from the 22nd. All those things become magnets for either side. So you have to play them uh, appropriately to, um, to see if there's good tempo and volume going that way, then you'll take that side and go with it to fill those single prints either to the downside or upside. However, if you don't get much tempo either above or below yesterday's high or low, well then you could use that as an opportunity that there's still buyers from the single prints below or there's still sellers from the single prints above and then fade it. Again, early plays. I'll be recapping all three of these indices tonight. Thank you for the likes. Again, come check us out at camelbacktrading.org for only $30 a month. So here's real important. If we close below 472.01, we will have an outside week down. So a lot of different MGI being thrown at us. Outside month up and a possible outside week down, right? A lot of confusion there. On the daily though, if you take out yesterday's low, we are clearly down. So in the shorter time frame, the bears are in control. In the uh, intermediate and the longer term, there's still balance. So it'll be very interesting if in the short term, bears can wrestle control and stay below both the 20 and the 50 and make more inroads down to the low 450s to the 448.92 monthly low. Good luck trading today. Have a great day. And we'll recap the day and the week at 4 p.m.